Panama Canal Authority or ACP has postponed price increases on the Panama Canal transit fees. The announcement follows a joint letter sent by the International Chamber of Shipping or ICS, Asian Ship Owners Association or ASA, and European Community Ship Owners Association or EXA. The organizations express concerns over the speed of price increases expected to begin from April 15, 2021 due to changing supply and demand conditions for the service the canal offers. Panama Canal is one of the world's busiest shipping routes. Nearly 14,000 transits were made last year. ASA Secretary General Yuchi Sonoda calls on ACP to continue to consider the voice of the canal users in their future operations and management based on a higher economic stability and transparency. Risks of future pandemics, climate change, and fragility of global markets were discussed at the recent International Chamber of Shipping or ICS Leadership Virtual Seminar. Facilitated by ICS Secretary General Guy Platten, the discussion highlighted the increased risks shipping has to navigate while continuing to face the challenges of COVID-19. And other enhanced threats that come with that could include increased nationalism and more political interference in trade. And geopolitical tension is high up on the list of risks to shipping in a normal year, so could well be enhanced as a result of COVID. So as an industry, we need to try and be part of the solution and work together to find solutions to those threats. But the pandemic should not push back or push to the back of the queue the action to combat climate change in shipping. And our COVID recovery policies should also support further progress towards green solutions and sustainability. Um, another, another big issue is the rise in geopolitical tensions, um, the increased use of sanctions by governments, uh, both in the US and the EU, uh, and more recently in Asia, um, where uh, China has started to um, its own sanctions uh, issues. We think this is unlikely to go away um, and um, there's also the growing threat of US-China trade tensions uh, leading to yet more uncertainty. Now obviously we try to engage uh, with all parties and to enable global trade to uh, proceed and I think uh, fortunately I think both the US and China need each other so much that they will continue to want to trade with each other um, in order not to um, sort of Put a nuclear uh, bomb underneath that and, and I, th I think our purpose really is to enable that to happen and make sure that all participants are being fairly heard. After one year of COVID, COVID continuous mobility restriction and several months of industry's paralysis, we have uh, facing a new main problem now that is the global microchips shortage. We are involved in the uh, automotive industry uh that hit very heavily to all the factories because working at home raised demand for pieces as we can see today pieces need microchips therefore car manufacturers don't receive the microchips they need so several car markets hold production and in the end our chips don't have cars to transport all because of a shortage of microchips with this I, I want to explain that anything affecting the economy and industry supporting it ends up affecting shipping. This kind of disruption is not new, but the pandemic has clearly shown how much re reliant we are on, on a few countries, but not only on a few countries, sometimes only in one country. 